We are now going to look into the future. This is the fifth. This is the sixth. This is the seventh. This is the eighth. And as I continue to say, each day, Matthew gets bigger and the story gets weirder. Here's what I'm talking about. We are now looking at total cloud water. And that don't look good. That don't look good at all. That definitely looks like a worst case scenario. So please, take this seriously. All of the East Coast is being threatened by this storm. And there's a reason for the warnings. It is Matthew now in the Southwest Atlantic. It almost looks like a skull, kind of, from the side, doesn't it? And this is totally legitimate. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Where is Matthew going? That is the big question. We are not ruling out a direct landfall, but a strike is definitely what's likely at this point as it skirts up the coast, hugs the coastline through South Georgia, and then as well South Carolina, North Carolina coastline. It may just meander around. As a matter of fact, some of the computer models that uh, meteorologists use to help us forecast the weather actually bring Matthew here and then around in a loop and back toward Florida sometime, uh, well, in the middle of next week. This could be a major problem. 120 mile an hour maximum sustained winds right now with this category three hurricane. That is expected to strengthen on approach to Florida. And there is a possibility certainly that Matthew can get within 35 miles of the Florida coast. That means we're looking at hurricane force conditions. I don't think we have any uh, supernatural stuff at play, but. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second half of 2016. This is your October surprise. It's time to wake up level up, work together, and become a united earth. Our big battle today is man versus nature. Hurricane Matthew is a major threat to the east coast of the United States with hurricane winds, super saturating rainfall, and very scary storm surge. In a worst case situation, with all the variables involved in this giant, dynamic, Atlantic coast storm, storm system, the worst case scenario, if true, can not only be catastrophic, but horrific. Hurricane Matthew is gigantic at over 700 miles wide. It's dropping up to two feet of rain and in some places and areas has caused up to 20 feet of storm surge. And not only that, he is moving very slow at five to seven miles an hour. And now he has a friend in the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Nicole, who is not projected to cause any trouble for the East Coast. But then seven days ago, Matthew was not projected to make landfall in the United States. And right now it looks like a strong possibility that Matthew will make landfall somewhere along the east coast and the impacts on Florida all the way up the coast may be major disastrous and damaging so please be cool stay cool be awake and aware and prepare for this over a million evacuations have already been ordered in South Carolina Florida as a country and as a world we can't just ignore our problems anymore and hope they go away the storm is an excellent situation for us all to learn to work together we are now going to look into the future this is the fifth. This is the sixth. This is the seventh. This is the eighth. And as I continue to say, each day, Matthew gets bigger and the story gets weirder. Here's what I'm talking about. We are now looking at total cloud water. And that don't look good. That don't look good at all. That definitely looks like a worst case scenario. So please, take this seriously. And if nothing major comes from this, that means me and a bunch of other superheroes across the world stopped it from happening. All right, these are crazy days indeed welcome to one of the most important meetings of asteroid fight club ever i'm gonna need you to put your game face on and bring your a game and take your a game to level 11 it's a lot of total cloud water and what the heck is that shape that's bizarre beyond bizarre that's weird beyond weird mean sea level pressure is mean oh look at that binary anyone this is all the total water participating hey he's got a binary friend over here too matthew's a popular guy and this is our funky freaky jet stream hey man have you checked out the jet stream lately it is freaking out i'm starting to think it's on drugs we have boobs and multiple dongles. More dongles than I can shake a stick at. If I don't shake sticks at dongles, I just run. Oh my god, dude. So this formed yesterday, and then now it looks like another one just formed. Oh god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna need some divine help. For sure. Oh crap. Ladies and gentlemen, this situation is getting more serious by the second. It's hard for me to keep up with it. God help us all. These are crazy days indeed. Stay cool. Peace out. The Category 3 Hurricane Matthew is headed through the Bahamas right now, making its way for central and northwestern Bahamas. And there you go. You see it's right over the Bahamas, and it's just going to be pounding them for at least the next 24 hours or so. This is going to be a slow track. This storm takes its time, so it's all of today and even tomorrow. 
Here's how it shapes up on the radar. Notice the eye wall. It is going just to the south of those northern islands. So, so along the entire length of the Bahamas, we're going to have flooding rain, damaging winds, dangerous storm surge, even life-threatening in some areas, and we're going to have lots of loss of power. You could see 10 to 15 feet of storm surge in the Bahamas, and that is not including waves. Storm surge, a huge deal in the Bahamas with this storm. Storm surge is where you get that water that's pushed inland. And latest wave heights, anywhere from 15 to 25 feet right around the southern Bahamas, and those swells will continue to increase at ahead of the storm over the next 24 hours. Still a major hurricane as this approaches the southeast coast of the United States. Uh, you've heard of all the uh, preparations going on in the United States, and rightfully so, because the United States is going to be pretty heavily affected by the storm. So, But I think this is coming in. I think we're getting a hit around Cape Canaveral. I think this is a landfall near Cape Canaveral. I really do. And that would be at some point late Thursday night, Friday morning. And conditions certainly are getting bad. I pray and I pray.